Hello and welcome to today's wrist free weights flow. In today's practice, we will do a few poses where we have the hands down, framing the front foot, hands on the floor, hands on the blocks, but we won't do any poses that um, are weight bearing for the wrist, elbows and shoulders, such as plank, table, and down dog. So this is a great practice for building muscular strength and endurance in the upper body without weight bearing. So if you have are experiencing any wrist issues and are trying to avoid placing that weight directly into the wrist or shoulder issues, this will be a great practice for that. So we're going to start standing at the front short side of the mat. We will have a low lunge, so place the blanket across the center of the mat. Blocks can go to the front short side. Light weights can go to the front short side. We're going to start in mountain pose. So send your arms down by your sides. Turn your palms to face forward. Feel your weight across the balls of your feet and the heels. You might even momentarily lift up your ten toes. Grounding down into the four corners of the feet as the center of the arch feels either a physical or an energetic lift. Bringing the toes back down to the floor. On your next exhale, sigh the breath out through the mouth. Deep breath in. Sighing the breath out through the mouth. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms out to the side. Stretch your arms long by your ears. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to your right thigh. and Let's just side tilt the body over to the right. Opening up through that left side waist, low back region. Breathe in, come through the center. On your next exhalation, let your left hand come down to your left thigh and side tilt over to the left, opening up through that right low waist, low back region. Inhale as you're flowing through the center, fingertips reaching up toward the sky. As you exhale, you're going to let the arms go out wide as you bend the knees and fold the body forward over the legs. As you breathe in, we're going to let the knees bend, almost like you're going to come into a chair with the legs and lift your spine halfway. Now you can stay there. You can open your arms out wide, almost like the wings of a bird. And then as you're exhaling, you'll bring your hands down to the floor, to the blocks, and you'll fold into the legs. We'll do that again. So as you inhale, bend the knees, take halfway lift with the spine, stay there or open those arms out to the sides. Exhale, hands coming down. Sitting bones reaching up as you fold into the legs. One more time, inhale, chair legs, half lift, arms go wide. Exhale, fold into the legs. Now this time as you're breathing in, we'll bend the knees again. Reach long through the crown of the head, circle sweep your arms. Rise up. Let's go to that side tilt again. So exhale, right hand to right thigh, arc the body over. Inhale as you come through the center, fingertips reaching up. And as you exhale, left hand to left thigh, arc the body over. Inhale as you come up through the center. We're going to go wide with the arms. So as you exhale, go out with the arms. Bend the knees and hinge the body forward over the legs, coming into forward fold. 
And as you breathe in, bend your knees into chair. Lift your spine halfway. Stay there. If it feels okay on the backs, take the arms out to the side. Low belly is really drawing in. Exhale, hands coming down and fold into the legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Take the spine into that halfway lift position. Go out wide with your arms. Exhale, hands coming down. Reaching the sitting bones up toward the sky. One more time. Inhale, chair legs. Half lift. Go open maybe with your arms. And then exhale, hands down. Lifting the sitting bones up. Now we're going to catch hold of the weights. So we're going to bend the knees. We're going to slide the weights up toward the ribs. Elbows are bending. And then press down. Rising up. We're going to take the weights up along the sides of the face, reaching the arms upward. Return the palms to face forward. And as you exhale, bend your elbows, coming into cactus arms. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale to reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach. Two more times. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, send your arms long. Tailbone draws down. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up. Turn your palms to face one another. Your hands are going to come together almost like a prayer position, the weights lightly coming toward one another. Bend your knees, and you're going to fold your body forward over the legs. And as you inhale, you can take halfway lift. So you might take the hands. It could stay on the floor. I'm just going to kind of slide up to the shins, weights still in the hands. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend the knees, frame the left foot, step the right foot back. You're going to take that right foot, step it out one to two inches before we spin that back right heel down at about a 30 degree angle. We're coming up for a version of warrior one. So you're going to draw the weights into the sides of the body so that you come up and then turn your chest at a slight angle toward the right. Warrior one. Point five. Okay, and as you inhale, you're going to send your arms up by your ears and turn the palms forward again. We're going to do another round of cactus arms. So as you exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, reach your arms long. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend one more time. Inhale, reach your arms long. Exhale, let your elbows bend. Inhale, reach your arms long. You're going to turn your palms to face toward one another. Bring your weights lightly together and down into your heart. We're going to bring the hands down, framing that front left foot, spinning off the back right heel. Now we are going to step forward. So you want to move the hands a little forward, press off the right foot, and step forward. All right, we're going to set the weight that's in the right hand down. You're going to bring your right hand to the block. You can be on your whole palm or any wrist issues that you're avoiding placing that hand in the palm. Come up to you more like your fingerprints. Go wide with your feet and bend your right knee. So you're going to inhale, take the weight that's in the left hand, draw it up toward the left side chest as you twist. Right knee is bent more deeply than the left. Feet are wide. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, left elbow draws up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, release. Inhale, draw the left elbow up. Exhale, release one more time. Inhale, draw the elbow up. Exhale, release. Bring your feet back underneath of your hips. You're going to bend your knees so that you can draw those weights in toward the sides of the body. Press down and rise up, keeping your elbows bent, but bringing the elbows out in front of the chest so that the backs of your arms almost feel like they're running parallel to the floor. You're gonna draw the elbows down into the chest a bit and then just lift them back up. And we'll do those little pulses so you can find a focal point for your eyes. Stabilizing the gaze helps to stabilize the mind. 
the movement of this pulsation is going to help to create a little bit of warmth and heat in the body, which is also clearing. Right, so clears heaviness from the body, clears that foggy feeling from the mind. Connect to the deep breath as a way of making it through the movement if it's begun to feel challenging. Okay, and then we're going to bring the weights together and back in toward the heart. Just take a moment, pause, drop your shoulders down your back. Breathe in and sigh it out through the mouth. Okay. Inhale, we're gonna send those weights back up along the sides of the face. Turn your palms to face forward. Exhale, let your elbows bend. And then inhale, send your arms back up. Exhale, let your elbows bend. Inhale to reach. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, extend. Last one. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, reach up. Turn your palms to face one another. Bring them together through the heart as you bend at your knees and hinge your body forward over your legs. Now here we're going to breathe in. Take halfway lift with the spine. And then as you're exhaling, we're going to step that left foot back. And we're going to step the left foot one to two inches to the left before spinning the left heel down at a 30 degree angle. So we're gonna bring the weights up to the side, waist side rib area, rise up. We're gonna turn the chest toward that left corner of the mat and the arms are gonna go up and along the sides of the face, turning the palms forward for another round of cactus arms. So as you exhale, let your elbows bend. Inhale to reach. Exhale to bend. Inhale to reach, exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale to reach one last time, exhale, elbows bend. Inhale to reach, turn your palms toward one another. We're gonna bring the palms down through the heart, let the hands come down. Framing that front right foot, spinning off that back left heel. So you want to adjust your hands a little forward, press off your left foot, step forward. Now bring the weight that's in the left hand down. Go wide with your feet, bend your left knee. So left hand on the block. You can have it on your full palm or you can just come up and finding the most comfort for your wrist. So that you, if you keep the wrist from bending, that may feel the most comfortable. So you might turn your wrist crease to face out toward the left. You're going to Draw the right elbow up, releasing it back down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, elbow point pulls up. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, draw the elbow point up. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale, draw the elbow point up. Exhale to release, heel toeing your feet under the hips again, catch hold of that second weight, begin to bend your knees, draw the weights up into the sides of the body, press down, rise up, draw your tailbone down, so keep the elbows bent, but bring the arms so that they're out in front of the chest, back to the arms running parallel to the floor, draw the elbows down slightly, and then back up down slightly and back up. So find your gazing point with your eyes. So the eyes are steady, but that steadiness is balanced with relaxation. Relax the eyes, relax your forehead. Breathe deep. Deep breath across the back of the throat, keeping that relaxation response activated. And then the weights are going to come together and down into the heart. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to hinge the body forward over the legs, landing there again in the forward fold. So as you inhale, take half lift. So you can slide your hands up to your shins. Exhale, let's step the right foot back. So we're going to find high lunge. We're going to keep that back heel lifted away from the floor as we come up with the weights 
bringing the elbows into the sides of the body so that the heads of the weights are pointing up. I'm going to draw the low belly in. We're going to lean the torso about 20 to 30 degrees forward. We're going to do just a few repetitions targeting the backs of the arms, the triceps. So as you inhale, extend your elbows back. And then as you exhale, re-bend the elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to re-bend two more times. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Keep the weights in to the sides of the body. Draw the tailbone down. Lift the torso back up momentarily. Shoulders over hips, crown of the head tethered toward the sky. Exhale, lower the hands, frame the front foot. Bend the back knee, press off the foot. Land that right foot down. Momentarily set the blocks down. Just let's shift the weight into the right foot for a second, and then take that left leg and extend it up toward the sky. So you want to be pretty light with your hands on the blocks. You can even be kind of on those fingerprints to reduce the uh, pressure into the wrist. All right, and then just take a moment, just really reach out through the backs of both knees, especially that left lifted leg. And then as you're exhaling, lower that left leg down. Inhale, take halfway lift with your spine. Exhale, fold into your legs. Inhale, reverse your swan dive momentarily. Just sweep those arms out. Landing mountain pose. So you can take your hands, wrap them around, thumbs kind of drawing toward one another, tailbone down, lift up through your heart a bit. Okay, breathe in. Exhale back to the center. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Prayer hands coming through the heart. Fold the body forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift with your spine. And as you're exhaling, catch hold of your weight. Step your left foot back. You're in that high lunge. So last weight series here. So we're going to bend the back knee slightly. Draw the weights into the sides of the body and start to slowly come up with your lunge. Heads of the weights are pointing up, elbows into the sides of the body. Lean the torso 20 to 30 degrees forward. Engage the low front floating ribs in so you're strong and stabilized across your core. Inhale, extend the elbows and exhale to bend. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, lowering the weights down, framing that front foot, bending that back left knee, pressing off so that you can step forward. So set the weights down, really lighten the fingerprints, so we want to avoid putting so much pressure into the wrist. Left leg grounds down, right leg extends, just doing some stretch to the back of the left leg. Breathe in. Exhale, lowering that right foot down. So we're going to start to come to seated position from here. So we just want to take care if there's any issues going on in the wrist, just being mindful. We're just really just taking a very easy, gentle step back. We're going to swing the legs out in front of the body, coming around. To seated position. We're going to remove the blanket out to the side. We're going to come down onto the spine. So bring your hips to the center. If you like using a strap or hamstring stretch, you can take that strap so that it's within hands reach. You're going to lower the back body down, starting with a couple windshield wipers. Just go nice and wide with your arms as you swing your knees a few times from side to side. Okay, so those windshield wipers give a little opening to like that 
out that front hip and down through the front thigh region. We'll bring the knees, point them to the sky, walk the feet in a little closer. Pick up your right foot. We're gonna hug the right thigh in toward the right rib. So you can loop the strap along the ball of the foot or take the hand simply behind the right thigh. We wanna extend the right leg up toward the sky. Hamstring stretch, left leg can stay as it is or go, go out along the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Deep breath in. Okay, we're gonna bend that right knee. Left leg will be extended for this twist. Left hand to right knee. Right arm is gonna open, palm up to the sky. Gonna take that right leg and draw it across the body in that single leg spinal twist. So we're opening through the ribs, of course, through twisting through the spine. But we wanna give some opening across the chest to help balance out some of the light weight repetitions. Take a inhale, ground down through your right arm. Deep exhale. Inhale, come back to the center, giving a little squeeze of that right thigh into the ribs, releasing the right foot down, letting the left knee bend, and then go wide with your feet, and again, just sway your knees from side to side. Okay, point the knees up toward the sky, bring you Feet a little closer together. I'm gonna pick up the left foot. So the strap along the ball of the left foot or hands to the back of the left thigh as you send the left heel up to the sky. Right knee can stay where it is or send the right leg out along the mat. Just deep breath in, release and relax your shoulders down to the floor. You might sigh it out. your next exhale allow your left knee to bend right leg will be extended for this twist right hand to left knee open the left arm out to the side palm facing up and guide the left leg across the body into that spinal twisting motion emphasizing some opening this gentle tugging sensation from the center of the sternum out through the left side chest Out through the left arm. And your next breath in, let's come back to the center, hugging your left thigh and then your right thigh into the body, just a little squeeze and then kind of roll, rock your crush your little back. Okay, feet coming down to the floor, extending out through the legs, 
go a little wide with your feet so that your heels can drop down, toes can fall open, arms down by the legs, turn the palms to face up toward the sky. Let your eyes close for a minute of rest here. Feel your exhale assist you in softening any tension in your face. Feel the breath through the torso, down in the region of the lower belly and down into the pelvis. Taking a deep round of breath here. And then as you're ready, you can let your knees bend one at a time. Placing your feet to the floor and then rolling over to the right or to the left side of the body. Pressing the hands down and rising up to seated position. And as you arrive there, prayer hands together, sit tall. The light within me sees and bows to that same light that exists within you. Namaste.